So this is the pie most. Um, I believe the first type of board that will let the average consumer be able to tap into the most bus. Um, board's been designed by myself. There's two versions. There's a USB-C version, which is this one, um, and there's a 12 volt version, which is this one. 12 volt version's not quite released yet, as I need to do some more testing in my car just to ensure everything's working as it should. Um, the USB-C version is ready to go. They pretty much both share all the same functionalities, so it's got built into it um, a graceful shutdown feature. So when the most bus signal goes off, which is that red light, um, it brings a GPIO low, which you can use to then shut down the Raspberry Pi. 30 seconds after the most network goes off, um, it hard cuts the power to the Pi and kills it completely, which results in about half a milliamp current consumption. So you can leave that, you know, on your car for weeks and it's not going to create an issue. Uh, it's also got a few headers. So this one here, if you put a jumper on that one, it's the one on the end, um, that will disable the timer feature. So it will leave it powered on all the time, which is quite handy if you're, you know, kind of developing. Uh, you've got a 120 ohm resistor for the CAN bus and you've also got an auxiliary power which can be used for either a screen or a fan, um, whatever you need. The USB-C version does have some unsoldered headers here, so this one here is 5 volts, these two here are ground, so if you want to supply it with your own 5 volts then you can do. Finally it's got a CAN bus channel down on this side, um, uses the exact same pin out as the Pi can, so it should be directly replaceable if you want to use your most bus channel and a CAN bus channel at the same time. This is the 12 volt version so it's pretty much exactly the same except instead of USB-C you've got a terminal there which you can supply the 12 volts to um, and it will step it down to 5 volts at maximum of 5 amps. This one if you are pulling any you know, considerable current, you know maybe more than 2 amps you could probably do with some cooling um, which I am in the process of trying to design a case um, quite a way off at the moment just doing some early testing but once that's done that will be available this has only been tested on Jaguar Land Rovers at the moment so it should work with any most bus car that runs at 48 kilohertz um, where this is most 25 there's two different kind of speeds that it can run at which is 48 kilohertz or 44.1 all the Jaguar and Land Rover range is 48, I imagine Volvo are, um, but before purchasing you might want to check. In theory it should be should work with 44.1 but the drivers will need a bit of a tweak um, as I haven't had anything to test it on, I haven't been able to do that. Um, if someone wants to you know, be brave and give it a go themselves that would be great or when I get a chance I'll try and get my hands on a 44.1 kilohertz car um, and see where it goes from there. So on top of offering the Pi Most um, on the same website there are a few other items for sale. So the first one is kind of a T piece for the Most Bus. So this lets you take an input to the, your current CD player or any Most module, um, taps into there and then it splits it into two. So means you can add the Pi most onto your network without taking anything off just adds it as an extra node um, and it will just run along with it. We've got a heatsink which fits perfectly underneath um, no risk of shorting It'll help keep it nice and cool and finally we've got the loop which you can use to loop out um, the T-piece that's the main way that I use it if I want to remove the PIMOS from the car but I don't want to have to remove the T. Um, you can just install the, the loop where the PIMOS would go and the network will just carry on like it always has done. This is my current test setup. So what I've been using to develop on and what I'll be using to test every board before it gets sent out. And you've got the Chagua in car entertainment here you've got the Land Rover one and you've got an amplifier down the bottom so if we power it on you see that one's come on if we go to the Pi most you can see on there the red light 
So that is effectively sat into this network um, and is passing through traffic. It's just sat there in a passive mode at the moment, so it's not doing anything. Um, but I'll cover off how to install drivers, etc. It's important to note for anyone you know looking to maybe give this a go that everything at the moment is at a very early stage. So if you're not too good with the coding and the programming side, I'd probably recommend not buying one at the moment. Um, if you want to get involved and you know help out, test it on other cars, or you know look into contributing to the software, then that'd be great. But it's not at the level on the software side for your, your average hobbyist. Um, this is the first sort, sort of board that does this. It's the first time that kind of enthusiasts have the opportunity to do this with the most bus. Um, there's a huge amount of data on there, anything from your climate control to skipping songs to Bluetooth control, it can all be done. Um, I pretty much proved a lot of it with the test setup, which I'll cover off in some other videos. But if you're expecting kind of the CAN bus level of support where there's a bunch of resource out there online um, you're not going to have this with most at the moment because it, just getting started with it